Hello, and welcome to another episode. It's Aaron Plays Technic. Um, I haven't played in a few days. I don't really remember what was even happening last episode. I'm pretty sure that we went and put the wireless tran or the teleport pipe. I keep calling them wireless transport. Teleport, whatever they are. We put them over there at the volcano, and I put one over here on the lava generator. The geothermal generator, excuse me. Um, and then when we ran back, the liquid teleport pipes, or the, no, it's the transport pipe from, no, the power pipe. Which pipe was it? The power teleport pipe going from the engines, the five combustion engines, to the quarry, it glitched out, and so I hacked a couple in. Well, today, um, I think it's about time I make an MFE. Um, I thought it took more than it actually does. I thought I had to make, like, advanced machine blocks and stuff, but I was thinking of the rotary macerators. So um, I want to make an MFE and move that other bat box and maybe also make a charging bench. I saw the lava over here, and I thought I might uh, come investigate, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem for the quarry, so I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I've been playing Tech It with a buddy of mine from work. Um, I was telling him about the, the Technic pack, and since he's a computer science guy, he uh, he was really interested in it, so um, we set up a server, and I've been playing with him this weekend, and I'll just say, no offense or anything, but it's, um, I'm kind of showing him the ropes, you know, and I have a limited knowledge of of this as well, but... Um, you know, I have done a little bit of testing and I am familiar with, you know, some of the aspects of the, of the mods and it can be frustrating when you are playing with someone who's never played before because they, you know, they have to learn on their own, but they, they do things in an, in an illogical manner from the get go. So um, what my plan is, uh, these are all my machines that I use regularly. I want to upgrade to an induction furnace and a rotary macerator. I don't know if there's an upgrade for the compressor or extractor, but I don't use those all that much, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, I'm also not really worried about the ore processing down here because, um, like I was trying to explain to my friend, when the quarry mines these things, you know, it'll find a chunk of, of copper here, a chunk of iron here, you know, and it's it's usually not that big of a deal. But if we go mining, you know, we set up a chest at the bottom of, of the mine with transport pipes, kind of like I did, and they come around. Um, but when you put in three stacks of copper, the macerators just can't keep up and the system backs up a little bit. Uh, and it's kind of a pain. So first things first, let's do the MFE. And what else? I think I'm going to need a, a low voltage transformer. See, I need to make the energy crystals. I know how to make those. Those are pretty easy. Um, insulated gold cable, no big deal. But um, yeah, when you feed... Uh, oh, I don't have any gold. Oh, here we go. You know, when you feed the um, feed three stacks of something into a chest, it, it gets backed up because those regular macerators, they just can't do it. All right, well, I'll take 12 of those. We're going to need diamonds. Probably, what do we need, four of them? And I don't remember what you need to make a low voltage transform. I know there's wood, maybe a circuit, and some... We'll, we'll take uh, half a stack of copper cable as well. And redstone. Where is the redstone? Here's the redstone. It's all, it's all eight, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. 
and I didn't charge these up before. I did this on the Tekkit server. I didn't charge them up, and it, it wasn't an issue. So um, I'm not going to worry about that. So I need to put all of that stuff around a machine block. And I probably have one here. It was kind of a pain to make the advanced machine block, but... Um, it's it's just one of those things where what did I what did I do wrong? Oh, I guess I I guess I do have to charge him. All right then. Well, okay. I guess I will. Um was I saying, you know, like you have to make that um I can't I can't charge it. Well, I don't know, um, <laughs> I don't know what's up. It doesn't go down here. It goes up there. Maybe I can put it in my generator. Let's try that. I may have to make the charging bench first in order to, yeah, I can't put them in there either. So I'll tell you what then. Maybe it's recharge? No. Well, I don't um I don't know what's up. Maybe I'm not up to date. I don't know what the deal is. I made this earlier and tech it with no problem. It is machine block. That's a machine block. Oh, it's double it's double insulated cable, that's what it is. My bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> I knew, I knew that. Um, there we go. I knew that I had done that. I just, I couldn't figure out w what was going on. So let me um, stash this gold cable. I don't think we're gonna need that anymore. I'm gonna hang on to the copper. Um, I could have sworn that thing was called a charging bench. Maybe it's a charging station. I don't know. Let me hit the wiki. Give me just a second. Okay, it looks like the bench is just three uninsulated copper cables and five wood. But I think I want to make the Mark II since it accepts more voltage and it'll charge an energy crystal and a nano suit which I don't really know what a nano suit is but um, that's okay so I don't have any any circuits made apparently so let me make a circuit and then I need three uninsulated gold cable and then wood so I want to do that and see if that will work even though it's not in the recipe book okay there we go circuit I need some wood 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 I gotta make the cable first okay so wood 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 circuit in the middle So I must not be up to date, or maybe I'm uh, too too much too much updated, too far updated. Something I don't know. Um, that this is a problem. I'm gonna have to work that out. So in the meantime, I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna put this stuff back, and what I'll do is um, I'll just uh, I wanted to make a charging bench for my or, or for my backpack and stuff. But since I can't make it, uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll just put it in the MFE to to charge. Oh, low voltage transformer too. And that's just copper and wood. Okay, that one's that one's easy.
Okay, and I'm pretty sure the three dots, that side is the output, I think. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to hook up the MFE where the bat box is out here right now. And then um, I'll move the bat box inside. Okay, and I think I'm going to need access to that side over there. So let's put that. I'm not going to connect it yet because I think when I do, it might blow up my machines. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. I think if I um, if I hook it up, since it outputs at 128, I think it'll I think it'll blow up my machines. So I'm not going to do that just yet. So what we'll do is we'll run down and see. We need to put the transformer somewhere, and then the bat box. So. We'll just find a space in the in the chain here. Those engines are almost out of fuel. They had like one bar or less, so I'm gonna let them run out and then I'll just fill them up. Um, fill them up later. So how about this? Let's put our our transformer right here, and then I'll put the bat box. Um, put it at ground level. I might have to break the glass. We'll see. We'll see if I have to do that or not. So maybe I can just click there. And apparently, I, I put a torch on that thing accidentally earlier when I was playing on the, on the server. But um, now I need to make it day because we're not going to get any power out of any of these if there's no solar solar power happening. So we still have a bat box right here that's coming from the generator. And then we've got a bat box over here and a low voltage transformer and the MFE. So what I may do is um, run some fiber along the ceiling here and connect it to the machines so that the machines will pull from the MFE. But regardless, these machines right here will pull from the MFE, which is the big deal because they really do most of the work. Um, I don't think the rotary macerator uses any any more energy than the regular macerator, with the exception of if you put a redstone signal to it and keep it spun up all the time, I think it uses a little extra EU per tick, but that's no big deal. Um, the volcano, I don't think I mentioned this. I, th I forgot in an earlier... In between earlier episodes, I was jacking around over there and I dropped some lava down in it because I wanted to see how far, far down it went. And so what happened was this thing stopped pumping after I finished the episode because um, it hit the sand that I dropped in the bottom of it. So basically it sucked out the six or seven source blocks of lava and that was it. So basically I moved the wireless uh, teleport thing it's it's down there somewhere near the mine because um, there's a ton of lava down there and it's not too far away so I figured that that would be a pretty safe bet so I'll tell you what let me move this thing and I'll, I'll I'm gonna move it downstairs in my little maintenance area which is what that is I know I go through there a lot it's really it's really just a maintenance area um, which is why I wanted to make the energy thing up here, the energy charging bench, so that I could um, charge my backpack without having to run down here, and I would have to come downstairs for for very little, you know, because I'd have everything upstairs. So, all right, there's that, and let's see if our bat box is getting any power yet. No. That transformer will have none. Um, I think that I'm not sure about this. 
the MFE might fill up before it gives it to the bat box because um, it doesn't look like any of these machines are working so it's not pulling any power oh or that's why because I don't have the cable hooked up yet because I wanted to put the transformer in place that's also a very good reason so you see this is filling up now um, 600,000 is substantially more than 40,000 obviously um, so that thing will charge I haven't bothered to make any more solar arrays because um, I've been doing okay on power and I don't have any machines I'm pretty sure yeah I'm pretty sure that's the output I don't have any machines that need any more than 32 per tick so I'm not missing another section am I okay yeah I'm pretty sure that all the little dots are inputs and this is the output which doesn't make any sense to me you'd think it would have um, more than one output since it's a transformer and say you need to break down 128 into 32 you know you break it into four that doesn't make any sense to me so um, let's um yeah there's stuff in the macerator and they're not getting any power so see there's the dot I know the dot is the output on that but I'm not sure about the transformer so once again let me hit the wiki um, this is exactly how I hooked it up on the server and I think it should work but for some reason it's not so standby okay I had it backwards and the way that I thought it should work makes sense three dots is the input and all the other ones are output so this thing will take 128 on the three dot side and it'll output 32 to the rest and you see now our bat box is charging it's already almost full and obviously our um, wait I don't want to go up there our MFE will take I don't know 15 times longer what's that 40 in the 60 15 yeah so this got drained a little bit to fill up the bat box and that's fine so basically what I could do is um, since I put the transformer down here that MFE is outputting 128 and the transformer is taking that 128 and turning it into 32 I could essentially um, take a fiber cable on the side right here and run it over to the machines and it'll divvy up that 128 you know it only outputs 32 per side but the thing has six sides so that's fuzzy math I guess if you hook up five things to it it splits it five ways I don't know so um, I'm kinda disappointed about the charging bench because I really really wanted something to put up here to, to charge my backpack without having to run downstairs or put it in a generator which takes a really long time uh, let's um, let's do this let me check my time real quick alright that's 20 minutes I think I can probably make an advanced machine block in 10 minutes 10 minutes or less so what are we gonna need we're gonna need copper tin and I think it's just iron wait no that's wrong we're gonna need refined iron but I think to make it you have to put copper and then tin like this or the other way I thought you had to do it with dust and then I saw somebody do it in a video and they already had the bars made and I was like um, okay I did not know it was possible and it's not possible for me so okay refined iron bronze tin bronze blend or bronze dust so 
It looks like I do have to make bronze. I thought I had some. Maybe it's with the copper. Or maybe I used it all. No, here we go. Look at this. Okay. So, what was that again? It was refined iron, bronze, and maybe it was tin. Yes, so that needs to get compressed. Hopefully it compresses and I don't have to make, um, I don't think I need this anymore. I am going to need coal dust though. And that just goes like that. And then I think you just put the two together and then you make this. And that also gets compressed when this thing finishes. If I got any upgrades up here, let's upgrade this or overclock it or whatever you want to call it. So since I grabbed a stack of coal dust, I'm going to go ahead and make all eight of those, even though we only need two. Alright, so this is what the quarry's doing. This Everything in these top chests came from the quarry. If you remember, I moved everything down. I don't think we're quite low enough for gold, tin, and silver, but we've got, you know, fi five stacks of copper and, you know, three stacks of iron, so... Um, that's pretty good. And then, let's see, what do I have to do with that uh, carbon plate? Oh, that's it. Okay, so machine block in the middle. I think it, I got it backward. It goes like that and like that. And that's an advanced machine block. See, I'm going to need this macerator. And that's good that it dropped the upgrades because on the Tekkit server when we were playing I did that and it just it, it I lost them I don't know um, what happened but they just went away so alright we'll go ahead and make all those put them back with all the other dust and I probably need more refined iron for this I don't remember yep refined iron all the way around macerator and machine blocks so I thought it took a lot more to that, but I have the resources apparently, so might as well do it. Now, this is an issue. To keep this thing spun up, you have to give it a redstone signal, and I really don't have a good place to put a redstone signal on that thing. So essentially what I'll probably end up doing is making a switch and putting it right there even though I really don't like to do like like to do that um, I'm just gonna keep the thing spun up all the time so um, I wonder if there's another way that I could do that and I don't think there is because I got power in the bottom and the transport pipe coming out so I'll probably just take a redstone torch and stick it there because, you know, what the hell. Really, you know, that's an aesthetic thing, so not that big of a deal. So I'm going to let this thing spin up. And it, it takes a minute to get spun up. I think it spins up to 7,500 RPMs. And then um, I want to drop... Actually, do I have the, uh, I think I put them in here. Oh yeah, watch this. This is awesome. Look how fast that goes. It's not quite as fast as an induction furnace, but it's pretty damn fast. So this is only at 500 RPMs climbing, you know, almost to a thousand it's still faster, I think, than the other macerator with the upgrade. If we put the upgrade in, it's probably noticeably faster, though the power on it drains considerably. But once this thing gets spun up, the overclockers are totally unnecessary. Um, if it stays spinning at its max RPMs, 
it is really fast so wonder if I have anything uh, plenty over here to macerate our magic energy box is still working well um, I throw Nikolite and stuff in there every once in a while just because I don't really need it for anything I don't know you know what it's good for or what it does cool thing about the rotary macerator it has two slots and you can see how much faster that is than a regular macerator and it's only just below um, half of its maximum speed so this is going to be really good and I at some point if I get to it you know once I upgrade and upgrade and upgrade I may go ahead and put rotary macerators down on the floor where all of the quarry processing goes but um, I don't really think it's necessary at this point I just like it up here because since I you know I do this stuff manually I like it to be a little faster so the next thing I'm gonna do is the induction furnace I'll probably do that next episode and I'll probably end up with a redstone torch above it as well since I, I don't really have a place to put a switch on that one either unless I put it on the floor in front of it which I don't really want to do so this thing is scooting along it's really fast and I don't think that it's even using any generator power because there's so much power from the MFE and the bat box and see that thing is still over half full so um, the other bat box over there is probably pretty redundant now since we have you know 600,000 EU up there assuming that it charges all day and then we've got another 40,000 down here on standby so I, th I think that's supposed to be working but maybe you have to put in separate separate things I don't really know that much about the rotary macerator I just know that it has spots for two things I think I saw somewhere that if you put in um, like uh, what is it tin and copper it'll make the bronze for you it'll macerate them together I'm not a hundred percent on that but I think that happens yeah so I don't know what the deal is I mean there's a second slot there but it doesn't look like it's really doing a lot of good because the stuff is just sitting there and then when that finishes it doesn't um, nothing happens to it it just sits there I don't know what's up with that I remember before I had a transport pipe hooked up I was messing around in creative and I could swear that it filled up this slot and this slot as well but for some reason that's not happening now either way not that big of a deal um, I don't really need to do two stacks at once anyway since this goes so fast look how fast this thing goes it's almost up to full speed and it's just you know plugging along so uh, we'll do the induction furnace next episode and then I'm um, gonna have to figure out some more stuff because um, I mean the quarry is gonna go but that's gonna take a while so um, I may have to find a way to hook more engines up to it and see if it'll run faster I don't know uh, that is for me to figure out so um, that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.